guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Chioma if this is your first time here please subscribe and turn on my post notifications guys it's been a minute like I haven't filmed a sit-down video in I don't even know how long honestly but we're back now like we are but anyways today I'm going to be showing you guys how I fix individual lashes myself I have posted this video on TikTok and Instagram and it has done so well on both platforms so I decided to bring it over for the YouTube girlies because why not but anyways guys literally i have been fixing individual lashes for a year now and that's the best decision i ever made because it's easy it's reliable it could go three weeks with proper care and i mean like why am i breaking the bank when i can do this myself so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i fix it the equipment i use maintainers also because guys you're just not going to fix it and leave it like you're also going to have to take care of it i'm going to be showing you all of that this is honestly something that you could learn like it's not that difficult i mean after the first second and the third try like you're going to get the hang of it so don't worry about it just sit down relax and take some notes you want to fix your lashes what do you need you're going to need a spoolie this is very important and this is honestly the first step i mean you need to brush out your lashes before you even start adding individual lashes on it i mean if your lashes are looking crusty what are we doing here so you're going to need a spoolie this is actually a brow pencil with like a spoolie but honestly you could just use any spoolie you have the second thing you need would be a mascara you would definitely need this but you mostly need this if you have scanty lashes because this will kind of help to define it just to see where to place your individual lashes this is also a very important step that you cannot miss if your lashes are very full you could definitely skip this the next thing you need is an eyelash curler and this step mostly for people that have very curled lashes so my lashes are so curled and i will need this to straighten my lashes because if your lashes are really curled the individual lashes would not stay or they would stay and they will start falling off after a week the next thing you're going to need is a tweezer this is very important because this is what you're going to be using to pick the lashes i mean the lashes are very tiny and you don't want to be picking them with your fingers because they are literally going to fall and you're going to be left with nothing so this is going to help you to also place it on your eye the next thing you're going to need is your lash glue and let me tell you guys this is what works for me i have been using this for three years now three four years i guess and honestly it works for me you just have to be really careful to be honest just use whatever lash glue works for you you don't have to use what i recommend but this is lash glue i use and i know yes 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 this this but guys trust me i have tried every single lash glue and nothing works trust me name it i've tried it every single thing and nothing works so my lashes are so stubborn but i mean you could still recommend other lash glues and i would be open to try but nothing works for me i mean it would stay but after about two hours they will start falling off because my lashes are so stubborn and last but not the least our lashes the big guys so i ordered my lashes from aliexpress i'm going to link them in the description box below and honestly guys i literally don't know how i stumbled upon these things because it was even when i ordered this that i started fixing my lashes myself like trust me these are your guys so i ordered this in 7 mm and 9 mm and this is the d curl and i also ordered the c curl so this has more curl than this so this is more defined than this but yeah i ordered the 7 mm for the inner corners and then 9 mm for the outer corners because obviously when you're fixing your lashes you don't want to use the same length you're using at the edge at the inner corners as well it has to get shorter as you're getting to the inner corners of your eye i'm going to link the lashes in the description box you should definitely get it i'm going to be talking you through the application process so we're taking our lashes from looking like this not so bad but it could definitely be better to this literally looking so beautiful and so natural which is what i always go for so the first thing i would tell you would be to avoid your waterline when you're placing your lashes ensure you're placing it at the bottom of your lash if you place it on your waterline you're going to tear up often and it's going to be very uncomfortable so ensure you're placing it at the bottom of your lash so moving on to the lashes we're starting with 11 mm and when it comes to your lash glue ensure you're not taking so much a little goes a long way so just take very little because if you take so much it's going to get tacky in fact it might not even stay on when you're pressing it on it will literally just fall off so now moving on to the application you're going to place your lashes and hold it in for about three seconds leave it then use the other end of the applicator to press it i basically just move around till i like the way it looks you're basically going to repeat the whole process and for me i'm going to leave mine on for three seconds because the lash glue i'm using i don't have to wait for it to get tacky before i use it so it's literally good to go once you place it but when you're pressing your lashes you have to be very careful especially when you're using the other end of the applicator because when it comes to your lashes aside being careful because obviously it's your eye the lashes are very fragile so when you're using the other end of the applicator to press it in if you use too much force like what happened here it's literally just going to 
fall off but nothing serious just take it off put your glue again if your natural lashes are very curled like mine you're going to need force but still not so much force because babes once you place those lashes your natural lashes are going to fight back and that's why i'm emphasizing on using a very good lash glue because it's going to be very frustrating but you just have to be patient if you're trying to keep it for about two three weeks though you need a very good lash glue so it doesn't push back so at this point we had gotten to the middle part and this is when we're switching to 9 mm so you just have to use the end of the applicator to ensure everything is fine and you like it before you move to 7 mm and we're obviously using 7 mm because we're getting closer to the inner corners of the eye and we want it to look seamless and natural so you're not just going to place one there so yeah that's basically it and we're repeating the same process on the other end i'm just going to pull music over this so you guys could see i just want to show this other eye so you guys could mostly see the hand placement of how you're going to hold the applicator because that also matters We're done with the application and these babies can honestly pass off as my natural lashes like who will tell no one but anyways when you're done you're going to use a spoolie to brush through thoroughly ensure you brush through really well in case anything is hanging or anything is falling off you just glue it back but yeah this is what they look like and they are so beautiful anyways moving on to maintenance i'm going to show you guys how i wash and maintain my lashes i've had them in for about two weeks now and that's so weird because honestly after a week i start pulling them like i just be tired and that's the main reason why i actually do them myself because i'm just like okay if i take them off i can put them back like some days i just wake up and i just want to be able to wash my face recklessly but you definitely can't do that when you have lashes on so yeah that's what this is about i'm going to show you guys how i wash and maintain my lashes because honestly your lashes could go as long as you want them to literally first thing i'll tell you is to always have your spoolie like your spoolie is your best friend like once you have your bath use your spoolie when you're about to do your makeup use your spoolie just always have like a travel size spoolie in your purse moving on to washing i always wash my lashes once a week while other days like i'll literally just wash my face normally and then just you know let the water drain on my lashes but i actually take time out once a week to wash my lashes and i use a makeup brush and then i'll take my soap and just lather it with like soap and then i go in to my lashes and just literally wash it but i'm always very careful you shouldn't be too rough with it but you should actually wash it really well and then just rinse it out you could use paper towel and just like dab at the top but aside that nothing else then yeah once you're done washing you take your spoolie again and you brush out your lashes and that's basically what i do let it air dry don't do anything to it and yeah so that's it for fixing my lashes and honestly they look really nice if i do say so myself I would definitely be doing this again because this was really really fun but yeah this is what i looked like before and this is what i look like now i mean my face is brighter even on days when i don't feel like doing makeup this is obviously a look on its own and then you will notice the detail around my eye i mean who doesn't want to do this so let me know in the comments if you will be trying this and if you have any questions any comments basically anything you would like me to answer probably anything i didn't cover just let me know in the comments and i will definitely reply but yeah i would like to see those of you that actually tried this out but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please subscribe and do not forget to turn on my post notifications, guys. Hopefully, I'm back with more tutorials soon because I have so many things lined up. But yeah, please give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye!